This is AutoLine Daily, the show dedicated to enthusiasts of the global automotive industry. Solid state batteries offer a number of benefits, like more safety and longer life. And now Ford, BMW, and Volta Technologies are part of a $130 million investment in Solid Power, a company that makes solid state batteries for EVs. As part of the investment, Ford and BMW are now equal equity owners, and representatives from each company will join Solid Power's board. BMW and Ford will receive 100 ampere hour cells for testing, and vehicle integration starts in 2022. Ford has a separate joint development agreement with Solid Power to develop and test its own specific battery cell design. BMW says it plans to have a solid state prototype by 2025 and to start selling EVs equipped with them by the end of the decade. TSMC, the Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, says it could meet automakers' demand for microprocessors by the end of June. Even so, it will only meet the minimum needs and says the chip shortage will go on for months. Speaking on the television program 60 Minutes, the chairman of TSMC said his company first heard of the shortage last December and started making more chips. But he said there's at least a seven to eight month lag time because the automotive supply chain is so complex. As we reported last week, the United Auto Workers Union came out against GM making EVs in Mexico, and now it's ramping up its criticism. The UAW is calling for EV subsidies in the U.S. to be applied only to vehicles made in the U.S. In a statement, UAW Vice President Terry Didis said, quote, taxpayer money should not go to companies that utilize labor outside the U.S. while benefiting from American government subsidies. At least one U.S. representative in Congress, Debbie Dingell, a Democrat from Michigan, is calling for the same thing. President Biden, who enjoys strong labor support, may be sympathetic to the call, but Reuters reports the White House has not responded yet. The National Auto Dealers Association, which represents all foreign brands, will likely oppose anything like this. Even so, it could find wide bipartisan support, and no doubt we'll learn more as the week develops. Mobility is becoming electric, connected, and autonomous, just like the manufacturing world. But we'll always be one thing, a reliable partner for our customers. We want to know what drives your testing. OTA, connected car, diagnostics, remote testing. Intrepid Control Systems is here to help you work from anywhere. Intrepid Control Systems, driven by your data. I don't think there's another automaker with a closer connection to pets than Subaru. I mean, they're literally a part of its development process. Every new Subaru that's not the BRZ was designed to carry a certain size dog crate. And now it's offering exclusive pet accessories for its vehicles. There's 11 items in all, which range from seat covers to walking ramps, and there's even harnesses to keep pets safe. Pricing goes from about 35 bucks up to $300 for that ramp. As we've said, the problem with internal combustion engines isn't the engines, it's the carbon in the fuel they burn. That's why there's an effort to develop renewable fuels. And now Bosch, Shell, and Volkswagen have announced they've created a low-carbon gasoline called Blue Gasoline, which can be used in all gasoline engines and contains up to 33% renewables. That translates to a well-to-wheel reduction in carbon emissions of at least 20% per kilometer driven. In a fleet of 1,000 VW Golf 8s, with a a one-and-a-half liter engine, it could save more than 230 metric tons of CO2 per year, assuming they drive 10,000 kilometers or about 6,200 miles. The company's plan to start making the fuel available at regular gas stations this year, beginning in Germany, and Bosch will also make the fuel available at its company filling stations.
Volkswagen wants more autonomy when it comes to its autonomous cars. CEO Herbert Dice told German publication Handelsblatt that VW will design its own high-performance chips for AVs. And while it will have a supplier make the chips, VW hopes to own some of the patents. The advantage is that it grants more control over how the system is developed and implemented over time rather than relying on someone else's process and timeline. Companies like Apple and Tesla have used the same approach to their benefit. Citroen's tiny electric vehicle, the Ami, is coming to the U.S. But no, you won't be able to buy it. It's being added to Free to Move's car sharing fleet in Washington, D.C. Free to Move is Stellantis's mobility brand, and Citroen is part of the Stellantis group. Free to Move posted this image to its LinkedIn page, which shows a silhouette of the Ami and the caption, quote, something big is coming to Washington, D.C. And of course, that's a joke about the Ami's size. It's technically a quadricycle, less than eight feet in length, and only has a top speed of 28 miles per hour. It's equipped with a five and a half kilowatt hour battery pack, which provides up to 45 miles of range. Free to Move hasn't revealed how much it will cost to rent, but in France, it costs 0.26 euro per minute, or about 31 cents, plus a 10 euro a month subscription fee. But that's a wrap for today. Thanks for watching, and you'll find us right here again tomorrow. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone, solutions for your journey, Intrepid Control Systems, Over the Air Engineering, Boost Your Game, Scheffler, We Pioneer Motion, and by Magna.